today I'm gonna to show you how to set up and use Google Pay on your Android phone and Google account. To quote the band Spinal Tap, stop wasting my time and give me some money. Hey, before you do though, take a moment and subscribe to our channel for more delicious how-to videos. Okay, so some of you might already know this, but Google Pay is basically a digital wallet for your Google account. You can use it to send and receive money to friends and family. You can use it in an app to pay for a good or service. Heck, you could use it at a restaurant or store at the register using an Android phone or a smartwatch that runs Wear OS. In 2018, Google Pay replaced Google Wallet and Android Pay. Essentially, the way this works is your debit card and credit card information is stored securely on Google servers. Now, if you feel at all iffy about any of that, then, well, maybe Google Pay isn't for you. But that being said, Google Pay is more secure and faster to use than a physical card. Instead of actual card numbers, Google has a token, also known as a virtual account number. And this is what is sent to your merchant when you make a purchase. So let's set it up. The first thing I wanna do is set up a screen lock on my phone. Now, since I'm using a Google Pixel 4, I'm actually gonna set up face unlock. Next, if you don't already have the Google Pay app on your phone, download it from the Google Play Store or look for any updates and install. Open the Google Pay app and tap the Get Started button. Then tap the Connect to Gmail button. A window will pop up asking for your permission to give Google Pay access to your device's location. Now, why does Google Pay want to know your location? Well, it can notify you if you're in a place that accepts Google Pay or a loyalty card that you have saved on Google Pay. Finally, I can be alerted when I'm near a Hallmark Gold Crown store so I can save big on some greeting cards with my Crown Rewards loyalty card. Yeah, that's a, a lot of cards. To use the locate feature, tap on the blue letter turn on button at the bottom of the screen. Now you're gonna notice across the Google Pay app on the bottom are four tabs, home, payment, passes, and send. To add a card, we're gonna go to the payment tab, then tap on the add payment method button. You can also add a card by going to the home screen of your Google Pay app. Go to the pay with your phone in the stores section and tap the blue set it up button. Now, if you already have a credit card or debit card on file with Google, maybe it's for the Google Play Store or for Google One or for another, well, Google service, then you're gonna have the option to connect that to your Google Pay app on your phone. Slightly creepy, but mostly useful. You also have the option to add a new card to your account. To do so, tap the Add a New Card button. Then hold your card in the camera window that pops up. Last, verify the card's expiration date and CVC number. Once you do, hit the Save button at the bottom of the screen. Next, read the Terms of Service and hit the Accept and Continue button at the bottom of the screen. Next, your bank will verify your card and you'll get a message stating that your lock screen will be used for Google Pay. Once you understand that, hit the blue Got It button at the bottom. That will take you to the Verify Your Card screen, and you're gonna now choose where you wanna receive the verification number. Depending on your card, you can either have it sent to your email or phone number. Once you choose, tap the Continue button. And once you receive the number, type it into the field of the Verification Number screen and press the Submit button. You can store multiple cards on Google Pay and even set one up as your default card. Pro tip. When you press the default for in-store purchases slider button, it takes a minute to turn blue. In fact, you don't have to be like me and tap it multiple times. How long does it take exactly? Well, I had enough time between tapping the button and it turning blue that I was able to add a nickname for my credit card, Brewster's Millions. Pro tip. Those are my glasses. So now that we got it all set up, this is how you use Google Pay in a store or restaurant. Google Pay, like Apple Pay, uses NFC to connect with the register. So anytime you see the wireless contact symbol, you know the one, the hand that holds a square piece of cheese above a plate of curved hot dogs of increasing links, yeah, that one. Anytime you see that, you can unlock your Android phone and Google Pay will trigger open to your default card. Of course, uh, using your phone to complete transactions is novel, but Google Pay can do so much more. Did you know that you can actually get money out of an ATM with your phone? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So let's say you had a Chase debit card and that was on your Google Pay account. Well, you can actually use it at a Chase ATM that has a wireless contact reader to withdraw money. Of course, you do still have to use 
your debit card's PIN number. Still need that though. This is great for when you need to get cash out of an ATM to pay that friend who promised you an affordable haircut as long as you paid cash. Thank you, Lomangelo, my hair looks fantastic. You can also add your transit cards or subway cards, bus fares. You can add these to Google Pay. Now, currently this only works in four cities. The Monorail in Las Vegas, the Hop in Portland, Oregon, the MCAT in Manatee County, Florida, and the Mikey, M-Y-K-I, in Melbourne, Australia. You can also add loyalty cards and gift cards to your Google Pay wallet. For example, I added my AMC Stubbs A-list card, but there are other merchants on there like Starbucks and Walgreens. Um, Ikea, and airlines like United, Delta, and American. But Google Pay isn't just about using your phone instead of plastic cards. You can also send and request money from friends and family, kind of like you do on Venmo or Zelle. Now, my friend Beecha made me an eye patch for when I cosplay Snake Plissken, Kurt Russell's character from Escape from New York. Snake Plissken. and I owe Beecham 30 smackers. From messages, I could start a new message to Beecham, tap on the plus sign, then tap on Google Pay Send, enter in the dollar amount, and then hit the attach money button. With Google Pay, you can send cash not only to Android users, but also iOS users, and you can send money from a computer. To do so, go to your browser and type in pay.google.com and log in. Then select the Send or Receive Money tab. Enter the amount of money you want to send or request, and then enter a phone number, email, or choose a contact from your Gmail contact list. Another way you can send and request money with Google Pay is to go into Gmail. So here I'm going to open the app start a new message, and I'm gonna tap on the paper clip. It gives me the option to send money or request money. I'll tap send, type in the dollar amount, and hit attach money. I can add a memo, and you can see it's just waiting for me to finish the message and send it. You can also use Google Pay at checkout on websites as well as within apps like Caviar. In doing research for this video, I was curious about what Google does with the data it collects on you from Google Pay. Here's what I found out. All right. Um, <clears throat> I found out that Google may, an emphasis on the word may, Google may use data from Google Pay transactions to facilitate your Google Pay transactions, to show you your transaction details and history, to resolve a problem you're having with Google Pay, and to provide you with other Google Pay features. And it's that last one that leaves the door of ambiguity unlocked to possibly is like targeted ads. Now, I have no reason to think that Google is doing anything more with your data than using it to make Google Pay run smoothly for you. However, think of it this way. If you're a Gmail user, Google is already doing something similar with your email. So you should probably be okay with it doing whatever it does with Google Pay. Last, take a moment and go through the Google Pay app's notification settings. I'm not gonna go through this in depth with you right now, but you can control things like getting alert when someone sends you money, yay, I'm rich. You can also control things like being reminded to send someone else money, boo, I have to pay rent. So I hope that this helped you set up Google Pay. But a real quick note about our channel. We're expanding. Joining us will be the amazing Megan Wollerton, who will bring her knowledge of smart home to many a how-to video. So not only will you have videos from me on this channel, you're also gonna get some new content from her. So keep your eyes open. Also, that being said, if you like our video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut. All right, let me go find a holiday. Gotta get some greeting cards here with my Crown Rewards program. Ooh, looks like there's a Hallmark Gold Crown store. I'm not here in the front.